The Flintstones, 1960, Season 1, Episode 5. The Split Personality. Some poor Macedon is caught in a tar pit. They ought to be put a fence around the tar pit. It's not a Macedon. It's Fred singing. They ought to put a fence around him. Let's see now. The trial of fast, continue, connected to the do hickory, do hickory, connected to the fanus band. The fanus band's connected to the finger boutique. Maybe you didn't connect to the what's, what was it? Who is it? What's that? What's that? That's it? Who is it? It's not connected. Betty, Betty, come to the window a minute. What is it, Bonnie? I'm going, going over to see if Fred's home. I won't have got to borrow what's it, wrench. Okay, Bonnie. So you'll have to wait for me. I don't know what we houses would do without good waste material proposal. Are you home? Wait a minute, Bonnie. I'll be right there. Hi, here, Wilma. Betsy says to say hello. Say I'm so I'm saying hello. I do say hello to her for me. If I home yet? Oh, yeah, Bonnie. You must be caught in traffic now. What do you want from him? Him for? I want to know if I can borrow what's it? Wrench for him if, from him. But you can wait, Wilma. A tall, frosty, custard soda cola. I could come back later. Come, okay, Kate, Bonnie. I'll tell him to call you when he gets home, right? And by the way, thanks for the hospitality, Wilma. You're welcome, Barney. Uh, Barney is so polite, such good manners. I wish Fred could learn to be more like him. Fred's a diamond in the rough, but even diamonds can stand polishing. I love if you come through that door every night, calm, urban, with smile on his hit lips. Hello, Fred. I see you got home. Did you have a tough day, dear? Yeah, it was so hot. I bet it was terrible on the job. Traffic might have been awful. A diamond in the rough. It don't come any rougher. Why do I day? All that heavy traffic coming home. One thing kept me going. Car reached along lawn. I, I could see it. There it was right in front of me. Big as life. What is that? What is it, Fred? A cold, frosty cold cola. Cold bottle. Fr- cold to cola. Put the icebox last night. Fred, you're so overheated. You can't, shouldn't drink anything cold. Suck a lemon. You've cursed your first. Suck a lemon. You got your mind all that way home. I keep thinking of that tall, cold, frosty cactus juice trickling down my throat, hot throat. Suck a lemon. I've got the hand of you, Wilma. You've got a great sense of humour. I'm sorry I came home so grouchy. But it won't happen again. I'm going to turn on a new leaf. I'm no more yelling, no more acting you mean. But where is it? Where is what? Fred, my last bottle of cold cactus cola. Did you drink it? Wilma, did you? No, Fred, I didn't. Barney took it. Barney took it? Yes. He's a friend, isn't he? Friend? No friend would take a man's last cold drink on a hot day. I does it. That's it. They've been coming a long time, but they this did it. I'm through with Barney Rubble. I disown him as a neighbour. Ah, oh, Fred, don't arm Fred me. I'm never going to speak to that guy again. I'm going over to his house right now and tell him. I had to give him a piece of my mind. Don't be, don't have too big a piece, Fred. You won't have any, don't have got any to spare. Haven't any, got any, haven't any to spare? How droll. How very droll. Dick of Riggies connected to the fucking friend's man. Hello, Fred. What's happened? Did you get caught in traffic? What's the matter, Fred? Barney, you and I are through. Don't you ever speak to me again. We're finished. I'll tell you, Norma, your rake, your hedge steers, your hose. My power tools, too? Yes, your tail, tall tools. Two. Jesus, it's serious. You never ever turned my power tools before. That's it, my co- cactus cola. You didn't get you didn't get get to it yet. You won't either, because I'm going to drink it myself. No, Fred. No, wait. wait. There's ice cup. Co- there's ice works right there. It's empty. How do you like that, Fred? May I ask you one question? Okay, better make it a good one, because it's the last time I, 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 I'm talking to you. Go ahead, ask. Okay, Fred, when did you drink my car polish? When did you drink my car polish? Car polish? I'm poisoned. Do it so, Barney. I have got. I get a command, mechanimous. Do just stand there, do something. Like what, Fred? Now get a pump. Like get a pump. A girl doctor called mechanic. Now why should I do something? Fred, you all right, Betty? Come out of here quickly. I can't, I'm in the shower. Turn it off. It's a emergency, all right. So hold it, hold it, Twixie. Never fails. As soon as I get in the shower, a man wants something. 
What's, what happened to Fred? I know it sounds stupid, but Fred hit himself on the head with a bottle. He knocked himself cold, oh dear. I hate to tell you that that's sort of woman. What do you mean, Bunny? I mean, how I think how embarrassed Fred would feel if Wilma found out. Maybe we could sneak him into his house, put him in his sofa. Do you think he's asleep? Sneak him into the house? Well, it's like sneaking an elephant into the telephone booth. Anyway, let's go give it a try. Easy, Bunny, I'm easy. Let's stop a minute while I catch my breath. Let's, let's lean him up against the door, okay? Oh, boy, he's a load of blood ground. Hi, Wilma. So what else did you do? We need, we brought Fred home. What happened? It couldn't happen to, it could have happened to anyone. Yeah, Fred hit himself on the head with a bottle. Hit himself on the head with a bottle? Get him into bed, Barney. I caught, get him into bed, Barney. I called Doctor. Gee, Barney's been, Fred's been out a long time. This doctor could, would get here. That's when, it, when I called, he said it'd be right over. That's him now. Come on, in, come in, Doctor. No fear, medical sights here. Just in time. My, you don't look good at all. Don't look at all. See what you did, did I tell you? Listen your shirt. You might have to trap. It's serious, Doc. Don't worry about it, son. I never lost a patient yet. Don't get, but soon don't get it. But I always know where they are. That's a joke. We use it at the clinic, Doctor. Yes, what's uh, that sort of patient? Oh, my. That's not too bad. You could use your help. You could use your help. Let's go, uh, go along with it. All right, all right, madam. Take up your tongue. Are you kidding? I'm not sick. My doctor, my doctors are busy. Sometimes people, everyone, it seems everybody's sick. There you are, my dear. Where does it hurt? I'm not sick either. I must insist to upon quiet. The man is trying to get some quest. Yeah, that's the patient. That's the, I'm not the mind reader, you know. I don't die his news when you don't tell the doctor everything. He's on a hit to a bottle. Hit on the head with a bottle. A bottle? Shouldn't hit him, him with a bottle? Well, in pin, yes, maybe, but not a bottle. Do you hear me, Doctor? Yes, very, very clearly, yes, indeed. Now, now, hear this. Get lost. I always wanted to have a human patient just once. That's it, but that's it. It's back to my horses suddenly. Back to the pasture. Why, well, he's a vegetarian, vegeta- veterinarian. I've forgotten the wrong, I got. I must have gotten the wrong list of doctors. I won't, I don't, eat, I don't know. Fred eats like a horse. He's getting, coming out of it. Fred, wake up. You're feeling better? Speak to me. Still out? I think I can step out of it. Well, how's the one? Remember? Fred, you want a hamburger? They did it. Boy, you see that? It's a good thing you didn't, they sell a piece of pie. We couldn't come through. We would have gone for a feeling. Are you okay, Freddy, boy? Certainly, Barnard, my esteemed neighbour. Barnard, you're right. Freddy, Barnard, please, not Freddy. If so undignified, my name is Frederick. I'm sure you wouldn't mind addressing me properly. What's wrong with William, my Elmer? Don't know. They snap out of it in a minute. There, my sweet, adorable wife. Looking charged, casual, ch- charming as usual. Here you are, my dear. See, he's all right. He knows me. A kidding? Is Elizabeth Barnard's wife? Is Elizabeth Barnard's wife for loneliness? Loveliness, a delight to the eye. Yeah, he's all right. He knows me too. If you ask me, Fred's flipped his lid. Let's go, uh, let's go home, Benny. Good night, sleep. We'll straighten him out. Okay. Good night, Wilma. To do do, Frederick, real dear, old dear. I'm telling that sock on the nugging. Not to screw loose in Fred's head. Why, Bunny? Because he called me a vision of loveliness. What's your opinion, Bunny? Let's sassy talk. Let's sassy talk. Regular boys I talk like that. Never mind, regular boy guys. What's your opinion? Tell me what you think of, think of me, Barney. Betty, please, say it, Barney. All right, your vision of loveliness. Let me, woman. You're going to spoil me. You've been so attentive to the last six few weeks. Nothing will ever spoil my little... T- t- nothing will ever, will ever spoil... I have to tell to that. I can rest, my dear. Why don't you make a list of things to argument? The scanty wardrobe while I finish doing the dishes. Thanks, Frederick. Oh dear, I could use some new dresses and a fur coat. Good evening, my friends. This is our Mr. Error, brought to you by Barney. What's the matter with you? Is there any way to leave the towel? You won't get wet your hands and wipe the dirt off it. Why can't you be neat and clean like Frederick? Hang up your things. All I do is pick off after you. Why I ain't even found weird ties and soup spots? It's stuffed with a firm in the family vase. Frederick wouldn't do a thing like that. Why can't you do more like Frederick? I hate Frederick. I don't, don't say so unless you mean it. Do you really like it? 
Frederick, I make us think it's a pearl, my dear. Very cheap, but Frederick is so expensive. We're paying it, we'd be paying it for years. Details, my dear, mere details. I shall walk, walk to work, skip lunches, and make my old clothes do for another five years. Before you know it, it shall be yours. Why wonder if it's gonna be possible, man, to be too nice. But ever since the evening, ain't you gonna shoot another game? Cause, Bonnie, Gosh, honey, I can't. I've got to go, straight, go home and straighten out my closet. Yeah, and this is all. And this is my night to polish the silverware. You finish all these play on Tuesday nights. What's the idea? It's your wife's idea. you got some joker for around the neighbourhood, making it tough for us. By some guy named Frederick. That reminds me. That is the night I vacuum the house. And what would your pleasure be tonight? Oh, dear, getting dressed up. Joining up to dance, hop it up a bit. Our people can come home in a milk tray, truck. You're joking, my dear. That would be an elevating. No, let, let's give it me a bit of lift, Buster. I don't know, I don't, I don't know you can't, I know you can't be serious. What about spelling bee? How about soaking your head? Now and then, come, how about reading Shelley's sonnets to you again? I heard oh to the lark. So many times it could build a nest and lay eggs. Then we have a little hot is it? Oh no, wait till you hear this one, my dear. It's different. That's what, what's different about it? This one's just about music, which allows me to sing the aura. What about that? Oh no, I heard this one. Paquitos are too eminent. True, but a tonal counterpart is so political. Oh, bother, I hate the band of opera. That is definitely not out of tune. Shall we try it again? Once more, and I blow my top. Poor old Mastodon, caught in the tar pit. Yeah, and they get hurt the tar, they gradually sink. You're not, not to put a fence around the tar pit. There's not a mansion, it's Fred singing. Hey, you ought to put a fence around him. Poor Wilma, looks like she'll be in siege of opera this week. I bet she's set for the hunt swelling bees. At least you don't get hurt your ears. Opera swelling bees, either way, we get stung. I say you're in a pensive mood tonight, my dear. What are you, what, what are you doing? Just looking at the same old photo of you, Frederick. How quaint. That's, that's the old crude meaning that yes it is. But you're, that, that's you, the rebels, not you as the party. That's, you put on Mr. Stone, that, that, got on, you were right. Remember? I'd rather forget. Here you, that's here, here, when you, well, I see when you had the, won the pet eating contest. Disgusting. Well, that's my own coup period. How did you understand me, Wilma? I wasn't too hard. It was kind of fun. You don't go bowling and not ask for Fred. If Fred, I mean Frederick, I'll give him a good hard try. All right, you tried. Now go over and ask him, okay? Bowling, I say, sounds simply monotonous. I should have thought, I just thought, ask of all. You're the team captain, yes. Well, the captain should never let his followers down. Lead on, my old man, dearie. I shall respond to your plea, do deal, deal. But let's look over here. It's got a Fred. Where you been, pal? Hiya, Fred. How come, how long are you time to snow sea? Come on, Captain. Shall I turn the bottle? Please, are you winking? Are you winking? My life is a guy, guys. Did you get that? Are you winking, my fur? Coward old Fred. There's no one like him. They say that, you can even say that again, gentlemen, please. I only came because I am the captain. I, I wanted to strip yesterday. I shouldn't stand. No insubordination. No insubordination. What a guy. Okay, captain. Up there and make a strike. There's a real pro in action. I went in the gutter. What happened, Fred? Never mind, Fred, sir. My name is Frederick. They've been looking for Frederick. I I'd better get him out of there. I am, I'm the captain. This is Whitley. If they catch us, we'd be worse than that. Come on, maybe we can beat them home. Now stay. There and don't move until they tell you we've come out. Why was going on? Why have you got Frederick under the bed? Because they saved his life, that's why. Now remember, don't come out here under there. I'm telling women, every guy in town's got to get me. You have a phone to get rid of Frederick. Oh, Elves Club, poor Fred. He's got to do something for what? But what? Maybe he can sell the house and move down town, rat in the head. Changed his life and another crack in the noggin. Well, changed him back. At this point, I don't try anything. Go ahead, Barney, to cook him. Who and me? No, let's not, no, not like me. I couldn't hit him. You hit him, Barney, Benny. I can't even spark out a dog. I can't do it either. What should we do? Should I say I've got an idea? 
be grange if it, if he cocks himself. Hey, Barney, how Barney? Come on, I'll show you. Now you see what got, what that rock is up there? Yes, that's why right. it's on top of the door. Watch. Get it? We're afraid of his door and the lock lines and his head, and right in his noggin. I suppose it had to be, has to be done, but it's necessary to use such a hard rock, Frederick. There's a hard head, you know. Go, okay, go ahead, but I can't watch Frederick. Yes, Bernard. You will come out here and play some op- opera records for me. Play some opera records? Most well, certainly, Bernard. I'm glad you're p- p- f- for a taste getting elevated. Now, I think I should start with a sex set for most of the least, yeah. Okay, who's the wise guy? I thought they told you we were through, my boy. That's his name? Wilma, come on, back, send it back. You think I made the money, Barney? Aren't we supposed to go bowling tonight? What are you waiting for? The fellow needs me. I'm Captain Team, you know. Right, Fred, let's go. Then he uh, he, go, he comes of all faults. He's still like my Fred. That's my Barney. We got stuck with each other both. We are stuck with both of them. But we like it. We like it. Wilma, come on, Wilma. Open his door. 